Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to do something crazy today. I'm going to put this Samsung 980 Pro SSD with an heatsink into my Steam Deck. Uh, some basic spec for this um, Samsung SSD is, is a PCIe 4.0 drive and of course the Steam Deck only supports 3.0 and this one is a full size 2280 and of course this one is uh what is it maximum read speed is 7000 megabytes so uh, again steam deck doesn't have pcie 4.0 nvme slots so definitely won't reach that speed but we should see the maximum speed so that's probably one of the big reasons why I want to do this. Um, I don't recommend doing this because first of all, it's even a regular SSD that doesn't have a heatsink, the 2280 SSD is too large for it, really. And overall, even if you're able to stuck it in there, you need to probably cut some pieces out from the uh, Steam Decks bottom cover and all that stuff so it's not going to be fun um, but just for the sake of testing it and just to see how how fast the um, SSD slot can reach in the uh, Steam Deck I just wanted to put this thing in and see what happens so without further ado uh, let's jump right in so here what it looks like uh, with the SSD install, as you can tell, yeah, with this one with the heatsink, it's definitely not going to go. Even if it's not, as you can see, the 80 millimeter is just way too long and it hits the um, this part right here, which is part of the the battery. So definitely do not try this <laughs> and keep it in there. So. So with everything good to go, uh, let's start with the boot up test. This is for the new SSD, the 980 Pro. Here's the startup for my uh, one terabyte drive. Opening Cyberpunk. So running the Steam Deck preset on a, a in-game benchmark.
Let's start to do the benchmark uh, 980 Pro. Starting Halo. Nine eighty Pro loading up Halo Infinite. So for the one terabyte, uh, around read is 2,500 megabytes right at almost 2,000 megabytes per second. There you have it, the 980 Pro maximum speed, almost at um, 3,500 read and, all, and over 3,500 write. So that's definitely very good um, I think that with this um, SSD and the uh, stream Dex maximum throughput is yeah definitely up up there so there you have it uh, the both SSDs results um, I believe that it's not really worth it once this goes over like around 2000 megabytes per second it does start in, it doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of buying a more expensive yet faster uh, SSD uh, yeah like right now with the manufacturers starting to look at uh, smaller SSDs they there might be ones that's selling at full rate full transfer rate um, that's more expensive but just save some money if I were you so um, also in the first video that I put out uh, for the Sabrent SSD they're mentioning that all uh, Valve warned that uh, it might damage some circuit charging circuitry and if you put in like a different SSD in this thing yes that's possible so always do it at your own risk but um, Personally, I think that the reason they willing to put uh, things out like that is because for them a 512 or 256 um, gig Steam Deck definitely make more money than a 64 gig one. So it's it's a business decision. They need to make money, and they have the right to do so definitely, and they have the right to lock it out. You know, if they one day put out a BIOS that says, oh, we are not allowing you guys to put out any third-party SSDs anymore. Well, that's too bad. Tough then, you know. But for now, at least it's still working. And so far, I've put in like a 120 gigabyte, um, 256. Um, haven't tr tried 512. Um, right now, like one terabyte, two terabytes no problem all of them are are okay in terms of like recognizing it in the steam deck of course there's the other issue of 
does it fit and all that stuff so it's do at your own risk really um, of course I don't recommend you putting a full-size one at all in a steam deck just keep it portable keep it the airflow as uh, good as possible I think that's still the main important thing so but a 42 millimeter yeah that's no problem in my opinion um, but yeah so probably right now the biggest problem is looking for a affordable one terabyte or two terabyte one so keep looking at it and like Amazon and eBay um, that's my best advice to this so thanks for watching and see you guys later